In this video, we'll demonstrate how easy it is to calibrate and maintain Burmad's top pilot valves, series 100 and 200, and to reconfigure them by adding a solenoid or controller. Calibrating downstream pressure in these valves is very simple and can be performed using the top pilot dial on the pilot. To increase downstream pressure, simply turn the pilot's handle clockwise, and to decrease it, turn the pilot's handle counterclockwise. Observe the top pilot dial reading until the required downstream pressure reaches the arrow sign. To verify you've reached the desired pressure, you can use a downstream pressure gauge. However, this is not really necessary as the pilot provides accurate pressure calibration. Note that pressure calibration requires normal water flow through the system. Should you need to disassemble the pilot from the valve for cleaning, this too is a straightforward procedure. Here's how to disassemble the pilot from a two-way or three-way top pilot valve. Before you begin, make sure to shut off water supply to the system. Prior to detaching the pilot from a three-way valve, you need to disconnect the command tube from the pilot. To do that, unscrew the 8mm elbow connectors and remove the tube from the pilot. Note that since two-way top pilot valves have no command tubes, this step doesn't apply to them. Otherwise, the process is similar for two-way and three-way top pilot valves. This locking clip attaches the pilot to the valve's body, and these two locking clip pins in the back Hold it in place. To release the fork, push the pins a little bit using a screwdriver, like so. Use the screwdriver to remove the locking clip and detach the pilot from the valve. Observe the water passages in the pilot and valve, through which water flows. Ensure they're clean, and if necessary, remove any accumulated dirt using a small brush. Also, make sure that the O-ring isn't worn out and replace it if necessary. When done, return the pilot to its original location on the valve while ensuring the O-ring and downstream seal are in place. Attach the pilot to the valve's body by inserting the locking clip back into its place. Make sure to push it in until you hear a click. When servicing a three-way valve, at this point, you'll need to reconnect the command tube to the pilot. Complete the process by opening the water supply to the system and verify that required downstream pressure is restored. Burmad's top pilot valves have a modular design, which enables quick and simple addition of a solenoid or controller as necessary. To add a solenoid to the three-way top pilot valve, we first need to shut off water supply to the system. Begin the process by disconnecting the command tube from the pilot. Unscrew the 8mm elbow connectors and remove it from the pilot's assembly. Using a wrench, carefully unscrew the top pilot plug. Using a screwdriver, Remove the small rubber seal inside the plunger clip. Proceed by extracting the plunger from the solenoid. As you can see, the trio lock has a horseshoe shape, which matches the shape of the edge of the solenoid's plunger. Attach the plunger to the trio by tilting it a bit and pushing its edge into the plunger clip until you hear a click. Before proceeding, verify that the green O-ring is attached to the solenoid. Now carefully screw the solenoid to the pilot to connect them. Complete the process by connecting the command tube to the solenoid. If the original command tube is too short, simply replace it with a slightly longer one. Adding a solenoid to a two-way top pilot valve is very similar. Begin by unscrewing the pilot's top pilot plug and remove it. Extract the plunger from the solenoid and attach it to the pilot by tilting it a bit and pushing its edge into the plunger clip until you hear a click. Verify that the green O-ring is in place 
and screw the solenoid to the pilot to connect them. Complete the process by opening the water supply to the system and verify that required downstream pressure is restored. Adding a Burmad GreenApp controller to the two-way top pilot valve is very similar to adding a solenoid. After attaching the plunger to the trio lock, simply screw the GreenApp controller to the pilot. We at Burmad hope you find this information useful and invite you to contact us with any questions or issues you encounter. Thanks for watching.